rings or silver rings onto the uh, onto the barrel. So first of all, we need to make the main component active because we're going to assemble a new component and this one we will call AU is the uh, shorthand for gold so make sure the new component is activated and we're going to go to plane YZ create a sketch there's going to be two circles both of them centered on origin the first one is 26.5 hit C to bring up the tool again and the second one is going to be 28 Okay, so we finish the sketch and you can see we have the profile appearing nicely there. I'll just bring it around a little bit further into view and we will extrude that. Then we have to pick it carefully. Good stuff. Uh, extrude is in the way. Where's my arrow gone? I want it to go that way and I want it to go for four. Now I could have made life easier for myself by hiding the timber body and the and the slider. So that's the uh, the ring made. We'll just double check now. It does it look in the right place? We'll have a look at the top, home, front. I said it looks nice. You can see how it's sitting a little bit proud of the, the timber body, but we'll fix that in a little while. Or actually, we'll, we'll hide that corner in, in a little while. So, what we want to do now is we want to put two grooves onto that ring. So we're, we've done this already up with the, um, the ring for the head joint, the rings for the head joint. So we make sure we have this selected, activated. Now this time we will select the XY plane. So let me just take it home and we we'll See the XY plane becomes visible. You could do it equally well in the XZ plane, but you can't do it on the YZ plane. So we need to pick a plane that's orthogonal to the curvature of the of the ring. So we'll go with the XY because that's what it says in the instructions. And we will create a sketch. Now we'll just zoom in here because we're going to get delicate with small circles. So I'm going to take the cursor and I'm just going to get it as close to the top as I can and we make a circle of 8.5 yeah, millimeters in diameter. Zoom in on it again and we're going to do the same again here. 0.5. Now I just picked 0.5 because it looks nice to my eye when it's finished, but you'd follow your own uh, uh, aesthetic instincts in picking the, the size of these ornaments. Okay, so we want to dimension these two circles now to make sure that they're actually locked in relation to the rest of the ring. So we pick the dimension tool. And we pick the center of the circle there and the edge of the ring and we want that to be one millimeter and we do exactly the same over here now we 
we see that this circle is a little bit too low. So we lock that to the x-axis. And we want that to be 14, which is the radius of the, the outer radius of the ring. Now we could do the same here with this one, but I'm going to actually constrain this one to this one. So we will go for horizontal vertical constraint. Click on that. Click on that. And you can see now that we have one and one, 14, and everything about this circle is black. Everything about this circle is black. So it's fully constrained and we can finish the sketch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, revolve these two. So we're going to create revolve. Profile, this is blue, so it's asking us to select the profile. That lets us get one. One selected, two, two selected. That's all we want. Now we just want to select the axis. Sometimes it guesses the axis, but um, other times it doesn't. Don't know quite why. And this type is an angle, and we want it to go the full 360 degree, and we want it to be a cut. And you can see the red grooves, if I just zoom out, that's the totality of the intended cut. And we say, okay. Okay, so we'll just go back and we just look at the body as it presents to the ring. We just want to do a little rounding on that corner. And we go to modify, fill it. Up comes the dialog box. We have nothing selected, so we'll select this chap. It tells us one edge is selected. And you can see the direction the fillet will, will travel. We want both edges. So this one remains blue to let us know it's selected. This one turns blue, tells us it's selected, and the arrow tells us the direction of travel of the fillet is in towards the center. So two edges selected, but we have to tell it what the radius of curvature on the fillet is going to be. And the right one here is 0.25 radius. And we should say, okay, there we can see that that's fairly nice. Okay, so let's go home with it. Now, it's selected, so we'll modify physical material. Now, I've been here before, so you can see gold is on my favorites. So it's ready for me there. Close the front. Now, the thing to remember here is we, in, or sorry, when we were doing the, um, the head joint, we were able to mirror the ring from this end to the other end because they were exactly the same size. But in this case, they're not the same size. The ring at this end is going to be, uh, its outer is going to be 29 mil, as opposed to, uh, I think, 28. Yeah. Okay, so we have to do a fresh ring here. So we go back and good practice, activate the main component, assemble, new component, and we'll call it barrel golden ring number two. And we want it to be up at this end and we have created, well, there's several ways for doing it. We can select the face there, or we can go to the timber body where we already have a construction plane at that position and we can create a sketch there. So we need two circles again and these have to be 27.5 for the first one, C for the circle tool and 29 for the second. 
Let me finish the sketch. And we'll extrude, move that out of the way. We pick our profile carefully. The arrows this time are going the wrong way. So let's push it the right way. And we want it to be minus four. Looking good. So we keep the gold ring selected and we just go pick the XY axis and we create a sketch. We're doing exactly as we did before. Just getting these little circles approximately in the right position is quite adequate at this point because we're going to constrain them now. First thing we do again is pick the center, the edge, and we say wood bit. Pick the center, the edge. One mil. And the outer radius for this one is half of 29, so that's 14.5. Uh, so we're going to constrain this against the x axis, and it's sitting, oh, it's already constrained at 14.5 does that sometimes on its own, knows where it's going. And we will do a constraint now and make both of them go to 14.5. Looks good. So now we'll do a revolve, select both of them. There they are selected. We need the axis now, the x-axis. Operation is cut. Satisfy yourself that it's going in the right place. That's great, yeah. Okay. And now what we do is we do the fillet. Modify, fillet. We pick both edges. And two five. Make sure it's selected. Now we modify physical material. And you should have gold waiting for you now. Close. Let's go home. And we bring up the slider visibility. And save your work. And there's your barrel, barrel uh, complete. So for our next project, we'll move on with a new design onto the uh, middle joint. Okay, thank you.